Hi everyone, Ken Lauer, Feng Shui Consultant here. And a question that I keep getting is, what is the importance of the interest in regards to Feng Shui? Well, the entrance is extremely important and one of the key factors regarding the analysis and improvement of Feng Shui. It has to do with business and homes as well as site selection and a variety of other things. So one thing when you're thinking about the entrance in regards to your home or apartment or studio is, first of all, what do you experience when you walk up to your space? What are you seeing? What are you feeling? How many corners do you have to go around to to maneuver to actually get to your door? And also, what is your sense? Is, it, is the walkway clear? Do you feel like you're stepping on things? Is the ground unstable, meaning is there concrete? that's loose, is there bricks that are falling, things like that. How careful do you have to be to actually walk up to your door? Once you stand at your door, then what are you feeling and experiencing? What do you feel maybe from even behind you? Is there a busy road that you don't feel comfortable with or something like that? And the entrance really has to do with how the energy, opportunities, and money actually come into your space so that you can take advantage of them. One thing is that you want to make sure that the door actually opens a full 90 degrees. Now many people like to have coat racks or boxes or storage bins or something like that directly behind the door, but this is one of the key factors is to make sure that the door can open a full 90 degrees. The second thing is you want the entrance to be well lit. So to do this, either you can leave a, a light on, you can put a motion sensor on a, an actual light switch inside your home, or you can actually put a light on a timer, which is something that I do for my clients many times, is they have buffet tables or something like that. And it's really welcoming you home, into your home, so that you feel good and you're ready for a day of peace and relaxation or an evening where you can truly relax and rejuvenate and get ready for the next time or next day. So also what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna pay attention. When that door opens, what is your first experience? Are you startled by something? Is there a door or a wall directly in front of you? What your eyes actually go towards? What are you looking at? Is it a pile of bills that are sitting on the table that have been there for a week? Or is it something that you really have to do? Or is it enjoying fruit or um, it can be a plant or flowers or something like that. So pay attention to actually what happens when you first walk into your space, what you feel, what you experience, and also where do your eyes go to, and then pay attention to what's starting to happen in your mind. Next thing is that you'll want to make sure that you can fully walk into the space. Now many times people will put things right directly in front of the entrance so you can't actually get into the space or there may be stairs directly there, or there may be a wall, or a variety of other things. So one thing that happens is that if you do have a wall or a door directly opposite, you can actually place a mirror there. And the mirror allows you the feeling of openness, it'll actually expand the room, and it'll feel like you can actually come into the space without getting that startled effect. Another thing is that you want to make sure that maybe you have a doorbell or some type of bell or noise item or if you have a security alarm that the door actually chimes every time it opens or closes so that when you're in the physical space and people are coming and going you won't be startled or surprised. So those are some good tips for you to start off with. Thank you.